so hi guys welcome back to my channel yes guys on this episode we're going to be turning this to this So this is a bone straight air. It's actually long. It's about 26 inches with a 5x5 closure. So sometimes I glue down my um, closure so it can give it that frontal illusion look. But right now I'm not going to glue it because I'm not going anywhere and I don't want to have like a glued with glued. <laughs> Right now, I'm not going anywhere and I don't want to have like a glued wig on my head. So I'm not going to glue it. So I'm not going to be using it or anything on the air. It's just going to be this that we're going to be using. This is what we're going to be using. It's a rope. It has like a very tiny iron in it, but it's not a strong iron. So it can actually bend. And two bands. So that's what we're going to use to actually tie it. So anyways, I'm going to teach you guys how I use this. So I actually got this on Amazon. It's it's about seven pounds or less than seven pounds about when i get the picture i'll put it up here and you can also check the description or the comments down below i'm gonna put the link there so if you want it you can get it let's get right into the video you need your gut beat moves and water so i know most of you must have heard that bone straight doesn't curl blah 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 so that's a lie guys i'm about to show you that bone straight can actually curl so i might be looking down just because i have a mirror in front of me so i'm just going to be using that because i can't see my um phone screen i'm using my back camera so that's it so first things is we put this at the middle we make it equal step one so step two is i'm gonna use this is water i'm just gonna use it to wet my air so when you wet your hair you take the mousse Start to section the air in bits and turn it in like this. you've got in here you can just leave the air obviously then you take this in like this did you see just take it in then you need this just use this to tie it just to not secure the knots that's it put this in just see how it looks see it's just you rolling it in the um, socks, the scarf, the knees, just roll it in and that's it, this is the way it looks like. So let's do the other part.
Okay, so let me just turn my back for you so you can see what it looks like behind. So this is what it looks like behind. So now that we are done with this, so we're just gonna leave it to dry for about let's say an hour. So after an hour, we'll come back and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. A few moments later. Hi guys, so this is 30 minutes after. So we're about to take off the band from the air and let's see what is gonna be the result. Is the start with this one you take off the band one and you see that then take off the other one okay so let me take this off so I'm going to remove the two at the same time. <laughs> to see, see the quarrels, but we're going to be using this tail comb, just the tail of the comb, to just the tail of the comb to actually define the quarrels. Do it like this. But just before we finish, just use the got to be to hold in the coils on the air. This the after. I'm gonna show you guys a video now. So see this video, this is actually it when I left it over the night. So it was bouncy curls but now it's like wavy not too bad for you guys can see the prospect show you the back so this is just to say that if you want to just do a quick touch up and make your week look different if you have an outing and you need to do like a new look or you want to have a new look with your weave you can just use this and this is gonna actually turn your weave from being straight to being more wavy giving you that you know so stay tuned guys i'm gonna be giving you guys more tips more DIYs but get ready with me because you know I'm a jack of all trades so you guys stay tuned enjoy thank you for watching and see you in my next video